Photographers, we're a funny breed. We'll spend hours and hours and hours perfecting that image. We'll spend weeks and months and years perfecting our craft and honing our skill. But the one thing, the one thing that'll make it all worth it, we just don't have time for. I'll just give it away real quick. You don't make a portfolio, you build a portfolio. Let me break it down to you. If you wanna be a professional photographer, you need a portfolio. You need to be able to tell clients what you can and will do, what services you provide. Portfolios are even important for hobbyists, but if you wanna make this your career, there's nothing more valuable than a portfolio. So if I asked you to put together a portfolio, what's the first thing that pops into your mind? No problem, I'll just scour my hard drives, I'll look through my folders, I'll find my favorite best images, I'll put them all together, Easy, right? The answer is no. There's a problem, and that problem is that it's just that, it's a collection of images. Most likely one will have nothing to do with the other. And even more likely, they don't convey even in the slightest to the client that you have what they need or want. They're a mix of styles, there's a mix of genres, they're either too abstract or too straightforward. Or in my case, when I was first starting out, or maybe a little bit now because I'm stubborn. Hey, I'm an artist. But there were images that would in no way make money. The truth is, to make a really good portfolio, it's not just collecting images from past shoots and organizing them together into one place. To make a really successful portfolio, you have to build it. Building a portfolio means to intentionally take images because you specifically want to create a body of work. It's saying to yourself, I want to do this type of work. I want to attract these type of clients. So I'm going to take 20 or 30 of these type of images. I remember when I was first inspired by this concept. Years ago, I saw a video from one of my favorite photographers. He was showing some behind the scenes of one of his shoots. I think it was like a really cool drink shot or something like that. But the sole intention for him making that shot was because he had a hole in his portfolio. So he was intentionally shooting this photo with specific colors, a specific concept, a specific camera angle, just so he could slam that photo in between the other two. I never thought about making a portfolio like that. Photographers, myself included, have this kind of field of dreams attitude towards portfolios where we believe that if we make it, they will come. So instead of building one thing, we just collect a bunch of random things and hope that somebody will notice. But that's rarely true. You have to meet the clients where they are. You have to create your portfolio with intention if you wanna make this your career. One of the greatest resources that I use for photography is actually just a YouTube channel that clips a bunch of commercials from a ton of different companies. It allows me to create kind of a memory bank of what's currently being used in my genre. It might just be looking at what's in the market already. I'll, I'll use my own genre for an example here, but if you want clients that are commercial food or high-end resorts or cookbooks, I would look at who are the photographers that are doing those jobs? What are the ad agencies doing? Who are the, the big photo agents representing and what do their rosters look like? Who are the photographers on there? What do those photographers' websites look like and what kind of images do their clients buy? And for their clients, what do their clients' websites look like and what kind of advertisements do their clients run? It takes a lot of work and a lot of this information is hard to find. It might take days or, or weeks to do this legwork, but it's really worth it. I'm actually making a new portfolio right now. It's gonna be vastly different than anything I have right now. To build it, I'm first looking at what's in the market already. Who are the clients that I'm trying to reach and what kind of images do they like to buy? What are the other photographers in that space and what are they doing? I'm putting together a folder of inspiration and then once I have that folder, I'm whittling down those inspirational images to clarify that vision that I want for this portfolio. And now I'm working to build that body of work. It's a different mindset. It's creating with a purpose instead of just grabbing a bunch of images from my career and trying to smash them together to create that kind of portfolio. Now, will I grab an image from a long time ago if it fits in this new portfolio? Sure, I mean, I have a, a few images that have never seen the light of day and they're kind of like orphan images waiting for this new portfolio to happen. But what I'm doing is starting with the first image and then the second and then the third and then the fourth. Every image will build upon the last, planning for the fifth image to look really good between the fourth and the sixth. But most importantly, I'm building this portfolio not just to show off how awesome of a photographer I am. I'm really trying to attract a very specific client. 
So this is what I was working on today. The idea here is a play on the classic split open or broken open food shot. I thought it would be cool to take that shot that you see on packages all the time and turn it into a stop motion with this nifty buzzsaw effect. But after seeing it, the inside is kind of boring and you know, the light's not right. It's a little dark on the inside, but even if the light were perfect, I don't think it would be very good. I know it's kind of funny because this video is about building portfolios and this one's not gonna go in, but it's just another one for the portfolio of suck. And that one's getting bigger all the time. So I like the idea. I like the concept. I think I'm just gonna try to reshoot it with a, a different subject, maybe different colors. It has a place and if I get it right, I, I think it's gonna be a nice fit. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. Drop some comments down below. Let me know how you build your portfolio. Maybe it'll help out some other people in that respect, but give it a like, subscribe, share it, all that good stuff. It really helps. And I'll see you in the next one. Man, I need some more coffee.